everybody. How's it going? I am back after a little brief hiatus. I commented on a Blue Sage video like two weeks ago. And it did not go so well. With the general witch community populace. And speaking of that. Since I'm out and about. I'm just kind of picking up some spiritual supplies here and there. Well, Paradox, uh, he, uh, he's always going to Dollar General, Dollar Tree, uh, Walmart, and picking up, you know, incense, candles, and all that stuff for spiritual, spiritual goodness. And since I'm actually out looking for a specific thing, I'm not having any luck, I decided to, uh, stop off at Dollar General. Didn't have shit. So I went to Dollar Tree. They didn't have shit that I was looking for. But they did have something that will make me a real witch. I can get this fucking out of the bag. A candle snuffer. Yeah. A real genuine candle snuffer. Because um, back in the beginning, I used to blow up my candles. And then I read that you're not supposed to do that. That fucks up the energy. So I would get like a metallic cover lid or glass lid or whatever. Something that wouldn't be flammable to snuff out my candles. Well, I've been using candle glass lids. But, uh... I don't know. It just seems kind of ghetto. So, while I was here at Dollar Tree, Dollar twenty-five, figured, I can afford that. So, now I got me a genuine candle snuffer, so I'm a genuine real witch now. Uh, let's see what else. I'm going to end this video with uh, something positive. So tonight is the full moon. And I would have partaken in full moon festivities if it weren't for the fact that I have to be at work at 8 o'clock in the morning. Because uh, I was all excited. It's like, oh boy, the full moon. And I got three days off in a row. And then I read the schedule, and I'm like, Fuh! I have to work at 8.30 in the morning. But I gotta be there at 8. To be on time. And I'm like, shit. Because I usually go to bed about 11.30. Now, granted, my rituals don't really take that that long. If it's not a Necronomicon. Um... Uh, ritual, but it is time-consuming a little bit because I have to set up and prep for Ah, Set up and prepare. So, I said, well, well, boys, let's do it the old-fashioned way. Let's look up when the full moon is. Which was at 1240 UTC, Universal Time Clock. Which is 12.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or Eastern Daylight Time. So I well, I'm not going to have time to do all that tonight. So, wait till the Hour of Venus, which was at... 1.58 to 3.06 a.m. Since that would be closer to the full moon coming in. So, I did my rituals. And I'm sitting there putting the energy into this. 
And this is what I've been preaching for a long time. Always pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to nature. I just made a video on this a couple weeks ago. Pay attention. When I did this ritual at three or at 2 o'clock in the morning, it was deader than shit outside. Like, there was no noise. None. Then about... 2.40? Out of nowhere. And I mean out of nowhere. This big burst of wind just comes... Flying through this area. Like... This wind was so strong that it was getting through the the house. Because um, it's an old house and it's drafty. And it was coming in. I'm like, god damn. Where did this come from? Because there was no wind. It was dead quiet. No animals, no nothing. And uh, I was like, jeez. <laughs> Talk about, you know, your signs. So, it was a sign from nature. The sign from source, gods, goddesses, whatever the fuck you want to believe. It was a sign that my magic is going into the aether. And getting me closer to my goals. And I just thought that was pretty neat. And, uh, yeah. That's really all I've been doing is kind of relaxing. I, I don't know, I'm just kind of doing other things, you know? I was doing a lot of things during my hiatus, and uh, I went to my friend Michelle's uh, witch shop here, uh, the Divine Key. Link to that will be in the description, and they do ship, so um, you can order online, and they'll ship it to you. I don't know about international, but... But... Uh, I'm going to go back here shortly and buy me an amber stone. Because a super long time ago, when I just started working with the Necronomicon, I had some gnosis from the spirits of the 50 names of Marduk. And they said that they wanted an amber stone. Now, I figured an amber stone, that sounds quite a bit expensive. Especially if you're thinking of uh, the stone from, like, Jurassic Park. The little mosquito in it. But, uh, I was at my friend, I was at the Divine Key uh, last Friday. And I was at checkout, and I just happened to look out and in a little dish were amber stones for $8. And I'm like, oh. And I just bought a big chunk of Merlinite raw um, for $4. If you follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram, you've already seen the pictures but of my little haul. But I'm going to go back and buy me an amber stone. And give it to the 50 names. Even though it's almost been a decade. Wow. It's almost been a decade since I had that Gnosis. And uh, I think it's time that I finally give it to them. So, um, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to continue my search looking for coin wrappers, of all things. And, uh, 
If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. All right. I love you all. Cool runnings. Irie Yates.